real soon and I I, I was supposed to have it come out tomorrow but at the last minute <clears throat> Cardi didn't like his mix I guess and had Interscope block it in the last hour. It was supposed to come out tomorrow and I found this out yesterday. So, I still want you guys to hear it. So, uh, you know. Hey man, real estate say shit, you already know what's going on. So we gotta talk about how Playboy Cardi, the vamp motherfucking king himself, Finesse, this other artist is kind of popping off right now named Abra, who just came out with this song called Unlock It, and the whole story of all that shit. But before we do, I'm gonna need y'all to like, comment, subscribe, and let's run this shit up, man. So, man, this is a very interesting story, and it's some shit that will totally not surprise you, man. Like, it's, I don't even know how these niggas get to this point and how these labels be investing in people, but. Let's sort of get into this whole situation behind the track, uh, Unlock It, with Abra featuring Playboy Cardi. So, this song was like super popular online. I think it had a moment in TikTok and shit. So, it's not like the same type of fan base of Cardi stands and shit. But like, basically this artist Abra, in case niggas didn't even really know, she was also signed to um, Father's Label in Atlanta called Awful Music and that is actually how Playboy Cardi was kind of discovered and got to the point where he is today. But basically, I guess they were label mates and they knew of each other and they recorded this song that would become super popular on the internet, basically amongst her fans and sort of blow up. And I guess they might have recorded it at least like two years ago. And Playboy Cardi was featured on the track and I guess her label contacted him and he was supposed to be featured on the track and shit. And then she originally, I guess like a year or two later after recording the song, she finally was able to like figure out a situation to drop it. It sort of had a moment on TikTok and she, with promotion of like snippets and shit. And then they were supposed to actually um, like release it. And Playboy Cardi being the type of nigga that he does, being like a super mysterious ass vampire nigga lives in a cage doesn't post on social media at all. Like, without even telling her, just blocks the fucking, like, release. And she, like, told all her fans and shit that it was supposed to come out and everything. She, she like, been had niggas, like, saying that it was gonna come out and it had all this fucking shit. And then she had to make an announcement that, <laughs> this shit is crazy. She had to make an announcement saying that the song is no longer coming out uh, at the scheduled time, at least, because Playboy Cardi, for some reason, even though he had already gotten paid, I guess, for the song, like he blocked the release with Interscope Records because I guess he didn't like the mix or anything. And they, I guess they didn't even speak on it because she tried to release it and then that shit just got, eh. like that shit is over with, man. It's crazy. This nigga like said, nah, I'm not dropping that shit. It's kind of crazy too, cause it's like, if you think about it, this nigga, like, I guess maybe that's the reason why he doesn't have all these leaks that kind of come out because they're not perfect or anything. And that's kind of why he doesn't like release that type of shit. But on Drake, I, for Drake, he let Drake fucking release uh, Pain 1993 or whatever the fuck it was. That song with Drake and that mix was terrible. <laughs> that shit was garbage. That shit sounded like it was recorded in a fucking plastic bag. Like, no cap. So, I don't even know. I think this nigga just didn't want to drop the song with her, even though he got paid. <laughs> or or this nigga was trying to, like, use this for promotion or some shit. But fast forward. So, I guess they figure out the mixing situation, and he finally agrees to it. And then she just releases it. And then, when they release it, like, people fuck with it and shit. It's definitely a vibe for a while. Like, it definitely does well. I guess you could kind of see what was wrong with Playboy Cardi's like mix, I guess. I mean, like it wasn't even that fucked up. It was just different than how it usually is, but it wasn't different in a bad way. This nigga actually somewhat tried on this verse, 
but she's supposed to drop the music video. And then the music video, it ends up being super trippy and shit, like hella people fuck with it. It's super popular right now. So she was supposed to drop this music video and he was supposed to be in it. She actually paid him to be in the video. Like she had sent the payment and everything to him or his label or however the fuck they do it, his management or whatever. And this nigga agrees to it. And then when it's time for him to actually like, I guess he was supposed to be in the video, but then he has to like sign off on whether or not he like likes his appearance in the video. And she is like, I guess, supposed to drop the video at a certain time. And this nigga just never hits her up, just goes to her, took the bag. I don't even, I don't, I'm not sure if he showed up or not. He either showed up and got paid and then didn't fucking um, like mark off that he liked it or not. Or he just didn't show up and still got paid. Either either way, like he just ghosted it, but he still got paid. And this nigga ran off with the bag. So then she was forced to release the video without him. And I mean, it's definitely underwhelming. Like it's probably not gonna do as well because it's like his Cardi fan base. Anytime they see this nigga, it's like super exclusive. But maybe this is the way that he even like is able to do this shit, you know? Like it's kind of smart on his end. But if he was I, like, I have a theory that he might have just did this shit for promotion for the song because the song became super popular because this nigga was just being a quote unquote narcissist, not giving a fuck about other people. Like the controversy itself kind of like made it kind of crazy, you know? So that could have been like one of the main things that could have promoted it to the point. So maybe this nigga did her a favor. But this nigga definitely ran off of the bag regardless. But it's not really a surprise. I mean, like, you see a lot of the people that this nigga works with, he's barely in any, he barely does any features. He's barely in any fucking type of situation. Like, if he is on a fucking song, I can name, that's the third fucking, this nigga's never in any videos. I haven't seen this nigga featured on a song in a video since his song Fetty with Maxo Cream and Dash. That was the last time this nigga really was in a video on a feature, I'm pretty sure. Maybe like, yeah, I'm pretty sure that that was the last time. Like he even has a song with Solange, fucking Beyonce's sister, who's like a fucking superstar in herself. And like this nigga said, nah, I'm not showing up. And he's not in that video either. He has a song with fucking Tyler. He's not in that video either. <laughs> so it's like, man. This nigga just, I don't know, he always has a thing where he just be ghosting and shit and he doesn't really show up for any type of features and he's barely even featured on any tracks whatsoever. Not since like in the later half of the 20, like he hasn't been in a track since like for damn near almost 10 years, a video, I would say 20, 2015. So what, like seven years is like the last time that we've seen this nigga in a fucking feature video, but hey. I mean, that's part of his mysteri got my mysterious ass shit, you know? He's like a fucking vampire. He'd be coming out on the occasions. On, on once in a blue moon, you'll see a fucking Cardi roaming the streets and shit. Fully like blacked out and shit, but hey, you already know what the fuck is good. Real stay safe shit, man. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. It's an interesting tale. Let me know if fucking Cardi was in the wrong for giving this fucking artist a feature and <laughs> not fucking like even showing up. Or maybe it was just trash. Check out the song and let me know your opinion. Real Stay Station, you already know what the fuck going on. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's go. Peace.